Let's take a look at a free Chrome plugin that you can combine with ChatGPT for SEO purposes. Happy Friday, everybody. Is anybody else using their Fridays or weekends to go down SEO rabbit holes or try out new SEO tools? I don't know if I'm just weird or if anybody else is just like me. Today, I'm talking about the AI PRM free Chrome plugin that you can combine with ChatGPT. So I already added this to my Chrome as a plugin and then combined it with ChatGPT and it lets you do some pretty cool things. So this tool has prompts already in it to combine it and use it with ChatGPT. They have topics over here to the left. So I happen to select SEO. You can select any topic that you want and then take a look at the tools that they have under the SEO topic. They have keyword strategy, outrank an article, human written 100% unique SEO optimized article. There's all kinds of prompts that you can use for SEO purposes. Now, some of these prompts I really wish I'd had early on in my SEO career because this would have saved a ton of time. For instance, e-commerce, generating enticing product descriptions. Do you realize our poor writers used to have to write every single one of these for thousands of products and this would have made it a hundred times, if not a thousand times faster. There's a ton of prompts in here, so you're going to have to take a look. There's silo structure, there's Eat, Niche Authority, SEO, Strategy, Blog Post Generator. There's all kinds of things. So what I did was run a couple of tests just so I could see how it was working. For instance, I ran the e-commerce product description and I told them that I had a hummingbird feeder and the prompt fills all of this in for you. All you do is type your message at the bottom and the prompt fills all of this in for you. All I did was put hummingbird feeder, clicked a button and it started giving me product descriptions. How I wish we had this even just a year ago, this would have saved a ton of time. I work with a ton of e-commerce websites. This is mind blowing. So you can plug in any type of product that you have. It doesn't matter. And it will begin to create product descriptions. And what I personally would do with this is take these product descriptions that it creates and then have my writers go over it fill in a few of the holes, if any, or update it just a little bit. Sometimes on these e-commerce sites, you need thousands of descriptions and the product, it's just slightly different than the product before it. And it is time consuming and really hard to write all of these descriptions. So you can get it to write a batch of descriptions. If you like it, you can keep going. It tells you what keywords it's trying to broad match. It gives you meta title and descriptions for those product pages. All right, here is another pretty big time saver. I used the prompt for Eat Niche Authority SEO blog post generator. And what it does is create your content for you and put it all in a planner. You tell it what key word or what niche you're writing for. And then it gives you ideas on your content creator, on your content planner of what posts to, to write about. And these were actually pretty good ideas. So I typed in for the keyword Austin Plumbing and it came up with some pretty good ideas. I wish I had had these ideas back in the day when I first started with my first plumbing client. But you've got five signs you need an Austin plumber immediately. Austin secret plumbing tips. These are actually good ideas. Secret plumbing tips for homeowners. Why Austin homes need regular plumbing checks. I would take this list or calendar, have my writers go over it and change it up slightly if needed or kick out some of this that they can't write about. This is really a good brainstorming session that probably would have taken us a couple of hours to complete. And they're coming up with one week one content, week two content. Like this is a ton of content content that they came up with and you can get it to keep planning and to keep going. I tried a different prompt for keyword cluster. It fills in all of the prompt for me and then it just comes up with your keyword cluster. I typed in cat food. So it started coming up with an overview of cluster topics. You have cat food brands, cat nutrition, cat food purchasing, cat food reviews, cat food types. 
Then it gives you detailed keyword cluster table and it tells you if the intent is informational or commercial. It gives you the cluster and then it gives you the keyword that that cluster goes to. With information like this, I think it's really good for brainstorming and will really help you get a lot of content going really quick. And some of this you probably wouldn't want to write about or it wouldn't be appropriate for whatever client that you're working for. But this is a brainstorming session that would have taken us a couple of hours to do with just human writers without using AI. So I think we can use AI to really help our writers become faster, more efficient, and we can start writing a whole lot more content. All right, this time I tried the outrank and article prompt. So what it does is tell you to put in your competitor's URL. It reads whatever's on that page and then comes up with another article for you that you can use on your website. Now, this was a very short article. It wasn't very long. What I would probably do is take this as part of the brainstorming process, but then use other SEO tools like Surfer SEO, on page AI, any of the tools that you're currently using to then improve the article and make it a whole lot better. This isn't fully optimized to the standards that I like to see, but I do think it's a good first step and can help you get started with the article that you do need to create. All right, the next prompt that I tried was the keyword analysis. And the keyword that I used was do fish sleep with their eyes open. So it gives me my original keyword. It gives me search volume. It gives me CPC, some kind of difficulty score for SEO. And then it gives me other topics underneath it. How do fish sleep in tanks? Now, when I checked this with Hrefs, it had completely different information on search volume. But remember, every tool pulls information from a different source, so it is going to change. But something you could combine this tool with or use another tool to check over some of this work is Keywords Everywhere for Chrome. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cheap keyword tool that I would probably use in combination with this. Now, for Hrefs, do fish sleep with their eyes open. It was coming up with 800 for a search volume, not 8,100. You could probably compare it with keywords everywhere. All right. So when you first open this tool and combine it with chat GPT, it opens up into a window like this. And you can see overall, just not SEO prompts, but overall prompts. They have over 4,500 prompts that have already been built in. That means it's prompting the question for ChatGPT for you, so you don't have to do the hard work. If only we had had this when I first started in the SEO industry, it would have saved a ton of time. All right, guys, have a great weekend.